very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Hi there folks, my name is Mayor Wirtz. We're going to be starting the show very shortly. I need to tidy up a couple things and deal with some non-cult community issues. So if you wouldn't mind just doing these non-cult exercises with your legs, with your arms, with your neck, breathe in and breathe out and I'll be here very shortly. Testing, testing one, two. What, one, two. Hi there, folks. My name is one, Mayor Wirtz. One, two. Boom. Hello, folks. How is everyone doing? My name is Mayor Wirtz, and gosh darn it, is it nice outside today. Hello, Captain. Hello, chilling with Kevo. What's good? What's happened? You like my startup stuff? We do videos for everything here. It's wonderful. It's a, it's a fantastic thing. Folks, 
today we're rocking with some ravioli. We're gonna be attempting to make ravioli for the first time. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes, baby. How's everyone's how's everyone's Friday? How's everyone's weekend going? God damn it. You were the best addition to Campbell's cooking stream. I had so much fucking fun yesterday. Oh my god. I oh after that was done, I was grinning fucking ear to ear, baby. That was so goddamn fun. I already I already messaged him and said that uh we need to do this again. So that was so good. Yesterday we made we made chicken parm. We made chicken parm yesterday with uh with came lol, camel. I keep calling him came lol cuz I I know I know what's wrong, but I know you guys call him camel. So captain, I hope I hope you've been feeling a little better. I know I know you got that covid baby. Well, recover. I gotta say, my upper respiratory still pretty shitty. Uh, after getting it uh, at the end of last year, so oh my god. But yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be bugging I'm gonna be bugging Camel again to do that because I'm like this is that was insane in all the right it was all the right ways of insane that I love personally. Okay, so we need to start working on the the actual raviolis themselves. I messaged him to oh perfect, perfect. Why didn't my menu thing work? God damn it, Foxy. Hello. I hope yeah. I saw I got a lot of got a lot of compliments yesterday. I'm sorry that I don't have a ping pong or a cheese ball launcher that that boy does. But goddamn, I oh god, it was so beautiful. It was it was like the mess. You're here to see my mistakes. We're not doing meatloaf, goddamn it. That ping pong launcher is the funniest fucking thing. Now I have to update this. Everyone, everyone, shut up for a second. I thought I fixed my issue. Thought I fixed my issue. I'm glad I'm glad you're back. Are you gonna be doing um are you gonna be doing streaming, Captain, or what's the you just what's what's the deal? It's updated in this! Why is it not updated on in chat? Hold on. Boom. There we go. We're gonna try to make some raviolis today and maybe some garlic bread bread, depending on the time. I've never made this before, and I'm not Italian because I'm a good person. That's a lot of ravioli. We're gonna see how we were making little small bits of ravioli today. I'm trying, trying different, different recipes, baby. Okay, you won't call, you won't, you won't catch me dead with an Italian. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. You love ravioli and cheeseburger ravioli. Me too, because I was like, if we do two fun raviolis. And we do one messed up one. That's the mayor words way. I even bought. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I bought. Hey, are oh my call? god, stay guy. Are you going to put pizza soup inside of these raviolis? Maybe I'm gonna put pizza Fart. soup inside of you, baby. You don't even know. Look, I bought all these ravioli things on Amazon.com. Amazon.com, let me have these for money. Oh my god, 14 months, you son of a bitch. Thank you so much for continuing your sub. Oh, that sub is making me feel naughty. Good thing I'm cleaning dishes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, we got some fancy tools. This looks like this looks like one of those spurs that they put on Woody's fucking cowboy boots. I want some heart-themed pasta. I mean, isn't is me, all pasta love? God damn it. Gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Gosh darn it, thank you for gifting a sub to Bear's Nest. Johnny Boy, how you doing? I saw I saw you guys pop into into Campbell's stream yesterday. That was awesome. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. You gifted a sub? You gifted a sub? That's so kind of you. Wow.
Oh, and you give me them biddies, baby. You're too kind. Too kind off the bat on this wonderful Saturday. Thanks for the bits. But yeah, isn't is it pasta isn't pasta just a love a different kind of love language? They also had like something like a press thing that you can get. I don't want the press thing. We're gonna if we're gonna fuck it up, we're gonna fuck it up. Okay. Place five cups of flour in a large bowl. Make a well in the center. Beat the eggs, water, and oil. Pour into well. Stir together, forming a ball. Okay. Pasta is the only love language. My love language is fucking um, getting, getting subscribers. That's the only love language that I know. For my stepkids, my stepkids to respect me. They gotta respect the mayor. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck off, dude. You're wrong. What's what's the other love language? So just food is the love language. That's that's acceptable. Bad mare. Why? Ugh. Got this. Okay, we need five cups. Kitchen aids, baby. Bring it all in. I love my, I love the kitchen aids. So, oh god, we're working. Oh, we spent some time in our extra bedroom today, cleaning up that room for me. So we got all the carpet out of it. We got all the carpet out of it, and then. Wow. Okay. Let's go, baby. Thank you so much for the 510 bits. Appreciate that. No garlic in this yet. I think. Think we will eventually. God damn it. Thank you so much for them bitties, baby. Bits. Excuse me, are y'all with the cult? Oh hell yeah, let's go! Get to that sub, baby! Get to those subs! Have you guys ever made raviolis from scratch? Not from Chef Boyardee, dang it! Oh shit, are we in a hype train already? Let's go, baby! Choo-choo! We're on a hype train! The hype train has begun. All aboard! Choo-choo! This ain't no Chef Boyardee bullshit here, okay? Dragon. Dragon Lord, you've done it again, my friend. Thank you so much for gifting those subs to I the community. It, the we really do appreciate you being here. But I, oh, don't get me wrong. I love Chef Boyardee bullshit. Okay, Foxy, you said don't disrespect Chef Boyardee and then spelled his name wrong. So who's really disrespecting Chef Boyardee right now? Who's the disrespectful one? It's you. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, you're better than this. You gotta spell. You gotta spell it, baby. Uh, I need... I should have uh, not used this. Let me go grab the other, the other bulbs real quick. You may be hearing me. I don't know. I don't... I don't know. I don't know, Scotty. Ugh. The rest of the bowls of these bowls are right here. Okay. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be a better person. You gotta live a better life, Foxy. None of this none of this yelling at mayor and then also not spelling anything correctly. You can't have it both ways. You're gonna have a can, a can roll at your front. To, oh my god, it's gonna be opened. It's gonna be open, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be ripped. And he's gonna twirl his fucking Chef Boyardee mustache. Now don't get me wrong, I'll eat Chef Boyardee. I did that a lot. 
I did that a lot back in the day. Not so much anymore. I'm not, and I'm also not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest pasta fan as I used to be. Prefer a burger. Beat the eggs, water, oil, pour into well. Oh my god. So yeah, we worked we worked the upstairs a little bit today. We're trying to get we're trying to get a bunch of stuff done in the house. They pushed up the Excuse date. Me, oh my god! Dragon! Let's go, baby! You prefer feats? What's Elios? God dang, let's go, Dragon! Ten gifted subs on the deck, baby! You know what we gotta do. Bam! Dragon Lord, thank you so much for gifting those subs to the community. You're a hero, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Dragon, for always gifting to this wonderful non-cult community. Give it, give in to these to these dang stepkids so they'll finally respect me. Prescription hipster, hello. I love a rectangular pizza. Aren't they called party pizzas? Am I from California? No. I'm from I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Because I look I look depressed at all times. It's just very sunny here. We only have one day of sun. You like it overstuffed ravioli? I think I've I think that sounds pretty sexual to me. I'm into that. Thank you so much, Dragon, for those 10 gifted subs. Welcome on in, new step kids. Folks, we're still on a hype train. We're still on a hype train right now. If you guys want to participate, sorry that we took LeBron for you. Don't be sorry. Clevelanders are all about disappointment, my friend. All about disappointment. Had a memorial yesterday? I'm sorry to hear that. That's no fun. I, that's, yeah, that's no good. Uh, let's do... Okay. And how much... Oil. Oil. Tablespoon of olive oil. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not too big into sports. I usually watch it. I am such a, I'm such a bandwagon jumper. I am such a bandwagon jumper that I will only really care about sports when we're doing well <laughs> because I just don't care. We got the Browns, man. You found a nice recipe? We're making raviolis today. We're making the, we're making the gabagool ravioli. You found a nice recipe? Define, define nice. Define freaking nice. Because for some reason, I think your idea of nice and my idea of nice is significantly different. 69, nice. So we're just, we're just mixing this up. The oil, the water. Folks, God damn it, we're on a level four hype train. Thank you guys all for contributing the bits and the subs. You guys, you guys keep this fucked up dream alive. Toaster ravioli pizza pocket? Okay. So wait, I would make a pizza pocket and fill it with raviolis and then toast it? Just don't fuck up the ravioli. You can't tell me what to do. I'm the stepdad here. I'm the stepdad here, okay? I'm taking everyone's anime that's, that's got an attitude, okay? So we're gonna make a, we're gonna, apparently we have to make a well. And that's how that works. Beat the eggs, water, oil, pour into well, stir together, forming a ball. Okay. Yeah, no anime. We don't like, you know we don't like anime here. I'm making a well. Ooh, reminds me of college. Yeah, we got all those, we got all those new emotes, guys. We got four new emotes. Kicks ass. I did that for you, jabronis. Did that so you guys would like and respect me one day. 
Oh, damn. If it isn't the most handsome stepdad in the world stealing anime and making some of them raviolis today. Yes. I'm always taking anime. You guys need to be watching. You guys need to be watching Cheers or Frasier with me, your stepdad. I'm disappointed in you, Don't Ron. Don't be disappointed in me. I'm disappointed in myself. Oh, my God. Nation, how you doing? Thank you for hanging out in Camel Stream yesterday. I didn't know you guys were dudes. I didn't know you guys were you guys were homies. Such a small world. Okay, so we're pouring this in. We're pouring this in the well, baby. How's your Saturday going? It's going pretty good. We are we're working on raviolis. I uh did a bunch of work in our extra room today. Choo choo guys. Hey, thank you guys once again so much for participating in the in the wonderful world of the hype train. Woo, that's a well. I want string cheese. String cheese is great. And also, if you guys eat string cheese and you just bite it and you don't rip it, you're literally probably a serial killer. Thanks for chat. I was super hyped seeing your stream with him. He's a cool dude, even though he's chaotic as all get out. I agree. Drink the well. I'm not drinking the well water. I'm not. Yeah, if you guys want to see someone who can actually cook and not be a dipshit about it, and not be a dipshit about it, Nishin's the way to go, baby. Ugh, fine, 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 fine. Rules are rules. I'm not adding pickle juice. Well, your mom might be a secret serial killer. This is disgusting. This is disgusting, by the way. You're literally a monster. All right, cheers. Screw you, snake guy. Oh. <coughs> it's the olive oil that makes it bad. I got, I got some skills. I got some skills. And I'm always trying to make things that I don't normally make. Bump that ISO up a little bit. Okay. Blah. I'm not gonna be sick, it's gonna be fine. Okay, hold on. Uh, stir, okay. Pour into well, stir together. Stir it. I gotta get a spoon. It says stir together. I love it. Trying, learning, failing. I also have this really bad habit of not reading the entire recipe. Because I want to learn it while we're doing it on stream. That might, that might just be my improv sense where I'm like, I don't want... It just says stir. So, okay. That's what... I know, that's all I was surprised. Just said stir. We're just going to fold it like a cake, I guess. But yeah, like I just I have a I have a bad habit of not reading the full recipe because I want to I want to learn it on stream as we go, which I feel leads to a little more exciting. I'm not trying to teach anyone anything. I'm just trying to teach kids how to get their grades up. So I'm not taking their anime. I'm not trying to teach. I'm not I, I should never be an instructor. I'm barely a person. I'm a hands-on learner, and sometimes it does bite me in the ass, like when we tried to make bagels, and I didn't read the whole recipe, and I didn't realize it took two days to make bagels, ab about halfway through the stream. So, get my hands in there. I'm hitting him with the dad knowledge, that's right, I'm a life instructor. Not CPR certified anymore, not since college. Gotta get my, gotta get my fingies in here. We got any Italians in chat? Is this making you uncomfortable? It should. My goal every day. I literally just got a call from my one friend asking what I was doing on stream today. I said, well, I'm making ravioli. And I said, it's usually my goal, my goal every day to spit in the face of an Italian physically or metaphorically. And he said, well, that's how you are every time that we hang out. So what's up, my guy? What's up, sister gaming? How you doing? How you living? Gotta hit him with that dad knowledge. Nisha, what are you making? What are you making tomorrow? What's on what's on tomorrow's plate? You did eggplant on Sunday. You did like an Iraqi eggplant kind of deal. Nisha's making food all over the world, baby. 
He's not going to allrecipes.com like Mayor is. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. He's just, he's living. He's living his truth. His truth is that he's cooking, baby. Cheese blintzes. Hamasha and Israel salad, cucumber tomato salad. Don't know what any of those are, and I'm already, I'm already sold, baby. I'm already sold. I'm going to be sure if I can't tune in tomorrow, I'm definitely watching VODs. I like meeting all the food people because I like watching, I like watching people make food. Like I went to, okay, so my job got me a subscription to a gym. And I met, I met with a nutritionist there for like a free evaluation. And he's like, all right, so like how, he's like, how much do you like food? I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. He's like, well, he like, he really kind of like shot himself in the foot. Cause I'm like, oh yeah, like I really like food. I like cooking it. I like eating it. I like watching it. And he's like, well, like describe it for me so I get understand. I'm like, I went on for like 10 minutes and I'm like, you did this. Like you idiot. I warned him. I said, oh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, you asked. I just like just talked about how wonderful fucking food is at all times. All right, so we gotta we gotta put this on the surface. Okay, floured surface need until smooth and elastic, four to six minutes. Ugh. But then again, they were trying to soft sell me to get a to get a personal trainer for a hundred and ten dollars an hour. Who does that? Who who pays $110 for a trainer? <laughs> and that's and that's just that's an hour. That's not per week. That is an hour. Food is life. I love watching other streamers. Everyone on stream has their own exactly. You know, I may not have a cheese <laughs> a cheese ball gun, but it's it makes it interesting. Not everyone wants to watch Julia Child do shit. I don't want to like, keep washing my hands. They're going to get flowered. Have it. Have it. Exactly. It's like, I'm like, dude, he was like, he's like, well, where did you learn to cook? And I'm like, YouTube. And he laughed. I'm like, dude, you could, <laughs> I'm like, you could find anything on YouTube. I said, I know I can, I can go down to calor uh, caloric intake diets on YouTube too. Like. Like, calm down. Everything is everything is basically open source now, so in its own way. Okay, so I gotta knead this dough. I feel like it's a little crusty. Anyone got any advice on why it looks a little crust? It looks like a like a sourdough bread. I love making people do push-ups. I don't mind push-ups. And also, like, I have I have workout equipment at home. I have a dip bar. And I have some kettlebells and stuff. But this place has got like a pool. It's not burning. That's how it's right. Exactly. You got to do the work and you got to study. Like if I want, if I want to become funny, which is impossible, I'll watch funny people. Um, Roy, how you doing? Making me do, is he really? <laughs> you cruel bastard. I thought about adding workout stuff, but then I'm like, I'm going to hurt myself. I know with my luck, I'm going to be like, oh, well, we'll do, we'll do every sub we'll do. We'll use the dip bar and then I'll die. <laughs> my arms won't work anymore. Cruel, you cruel, cruel boy. I'll tell you that much. Ugh. Roy, how's your weekend going, baby? Let's do this. Knock on the door. Ugh. So yeah, I had to make some phone calls this morning. We are getting... So next Thursday, we're getting our basement demoed, which means that my office and streaming hub is going to be down for a couple days. That also means that we're going to have to get a new water heater because it's so old. So I was talking to some people about pricing today. Not pretty. But hey, got to do what you got to do. You got to, exactly. Otherwise, you get run into the ground. See? 
I'm pretty sure Nisha is bionic. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe, maybe he's like, maybe he's got his own videos. Like, you know, I have my videos. He's got his own videos of him working out that he just plays. And it looks like he's actually doing it. I think I'm needing this right. It's all about limits, baby. I know when I can and cannot be a good step dance. Ugh. I've been expo I'm so sorry. Look, when you when you work in when you work in videos such as such as myself, you learn you learn to spot problems. You learn you learn to spot inconsistency. This is what we do, baby. I've never done that. I've never faked it. Never ever. What am I stuffing? Oh, we're doing some mushrooms. We're doing some potatoes. I'm gonna attempt to try to make some cheeseburger ones. I'm just We're trying we're trying a couple of things here. Nothing crazy. Whoa, I need to lock this down. This is a movable, a movable item. As a man who works in videos, can you tell me how they got the girl to come out of the TV in the ring? Uh, I was, I didn't plan on frying them. Should I try to, maybe I should try the cheese, maybe I should try to fry the cheeseburger ones. I thought I was just going to boil them, but maybe like a pan fry is a good idea. Uh, as a man who works in videos, can you tell me how they got the girl to come out of the TV in the ring? Uh, green screen, and you you cut around it. I believe because they always did they always did a side shot, so that means that there's like layers. So there's like if the TV is like this, you could technically in a forced perspective scenario come behind it like this on a green screen, and then just like you kind of tape it together. Ugh. This dough, come on. They wave ghost snacks at her? Hell yeah. Hey, snacks will get me to do most things in my life, so. How do they get the video of the real? How do they get the video of a real ghost? Uh, they talked to uh, the guy from Ghost Hunters to get that footage. You know, it is what it is. They use, uh, you know, they use all that ghost tech. Uh, what kind of production work you do? It. I've got a friend that does video pro editing for like Wizards of the Coast. Really? Uh, so I just I work for a, I work for a software company, and we do informational videos about the software and tutorials and stuff like that. Yeah, they got max level in Phasma. Oh, yeah, it's Zach Baggins. There we go, because Captain... We didn't have Captain stop by sometime soon. It's nothing crazy. I used to do, like, television stuff in college. I've done short film work and whatnot. All my music videos, I write and direct and stuff, so... But I also like hiring my friends to do. Like, all the videos that we do here is, like... Like, these wow. videos and whatnot. That like those are all stuff that I I write and then have someone shoot for me cuz I can't hold the camera. We're going to be doing more. Uh your in oh thank you. Yeah, we have a bunch of intros, bunch of the bit ones. I mean, they've been accumulated over a long amount of time. Uh, are you gonna do make another short film again? Oh wait, never mind. You don't like film festivals. I would like to do a short film again. It's just a lot of money and a lot of time, uh, and I don't, I don't. I think I would like to get back to. I would like to write like a feature film. I've been toying around with some ideas for a little bit. 
But because I just I like the writing aspect, so it doesn't need to be produced. I just like to know that I did something. I don't like film festivals. Well, I don't like short film festivals because they're all circle jerky. But if you're in any kind of community, including Twitch, <laughs> including Twitch, all have they all have their clicky, clicky behaviors, and I just don't give a shit. I've never given a shit, so. That always seems to be the detriment of me. The long days on set are, oh my God. That on top of like, it's not even the long days. It's like getting up at like six, getting on set by seven, and then like working until like two. Like it's, when we did my short film, we did it over, we did it over a weekend. So we did a, Friday, you know, Friday, Saturday to Sunday afternoon. And I think, I think I slept for a total of like five hours, maybe. Cause it's just, it's, it, it's like, so I used to also film weddings and it's the same kind of stress. So it's like, you got one, I mean, with at least in the short films, you can go back and refilm stuff and whatnot. But like, let's just say when I did weddings, like I can't make the bride go down, go down the aisle again. So yeah, it's just one of those things. I hate that. I love sleep. I love sleep. It's the worst, man. Don't recommend it on anyone. I've had, I would say about 90, 90% of the time they're really good. I've had, I've had, I'll, after I figure out what to do with this dough, I will tell a horror story. Um, let's see here. Okay, keep, cover and refrigerate. Okay. We just need to make, we just need to make all of the ingredients. Cover real quick. Um, so yeah, uh, the big, it's just working. I think the biggest problem with that kind of stuff is your your clients are people that don't do what do what you do it doesn't say it just says until ready which is not which is not right so i will look that up as well where are my skizzes So they often they will often demand things that are way out of understanding of how anything works, and they're often surprised when you tell them no because you know you're you get you when you're when you're you know planning a wedding you're supposed to be the per, you know the bride and the groom are supposed to be right about everything, which is not necessarily true. Oh no, Mayor! Oh no, what? What? What are you all knowing about? This, uh, so I'm just cutting the plastic stuff right now, but I don't have this little cutter thing on the bottom here is broken. So I'm going to cover and refrigerate. Yeah, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. Cover and let rest for 30 minutes. There we go. That's fine. No, okay, so keep the ball from sticking, cover and let rest for 30 minutes. That's fine. You know what it is? I read the wrong I read the wrong part. I think I think it meant I think it meant the other ingredients that I'm working with. Okay. Got that. Let's get some water going. I need a little bit of hydration. Uh so yeah, I had the one time I had uh, I had lost some wedding footage, and they they oh god, it was so bad. So basically, what happened? I guess I'm gonna try JJ Waterboy. We're gonna fry one of them. Um, so I had I had a couple of SD cards for filming the wedding. And I had, instead of copying three cards separately, I copied two and then doubled up on one of them. So I had, 
from so I was supposed to have card one, two, and three, but all my files turn into card one and then card two and then card two. Uh, the company that I work for worked for at the time did not catch this issue until about two months after the wedding. Uh, and I had all the footage, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. In the contract, it says I'm allowed to delete all the footage after a month. And they were pissed. They missed shit tons of, of that footage. And it was on them. And they kept, I got yelled at by the bride and the groom. I got yelled at by the company. And they're like, you know, we're never going to hire you again. I'm like, I don't really need the money. I'm just doing it because I want, I wanted like something. I wanted some piece of video equipment. I'm like, I don't give a shit. But yeah, they're like, this, you're unprofessional. I don't give a shit. Like they just started, they yelled at me for like an hour one day. And I'm like, I just, I, I took it. And I just smiled on the phone the whole time. And I just said, keep reading the contract. Keep reading the contract. Keep reading the contract. And uh, yeah, they they were they were threatening to sue me. Oh my god, it's great. Ceviche. Exactly right, niche. And it, in the contract, it said after a month, if I don't hear anything, I could delete all the external footage. And I had that extra card that I didn't touch. That I didn't need it. So I'm like, I'll just keep it. Didn't hear anything for that long. Said fuck it. Sorry, dude. But yeah, they bitched me out. The bride and the groom found my email and started bitching at me. I'm like, I don't care. They were terrible people anyway, so. They're from Pittsburgh and they were like, okay, I'm not yucking. I'm not, I'm not yucking anyone down about drugs or anything. I don't give a shit. But like the day of I'm filming and like all the grooms are just like doing coke all day. And I'm like, do you guys just like want, like want me to leave or like what's the deal here? Exactly. Like I have on my workhorse PC, I have a lot of storage, but I delete stuff that I don't need because it's it's always a problem. So, yep, Coke. What's up, Doug Nut? How you living? How's your break-in Sims going? And. After after I asked them, like, hey, do you guys like, do you guys like not don't want me to film this? Like, oh no, man, we'll take it. I'm like, you guys are paying. I don't give a shit. They also they also here's the tip: if you guys are photographing or filming a wedding, never accept any of their alcohol, no matter how hard they push. All day they try to get me to drink, and that's a liability because they can come back at me and say you were. You were drinking, so you didn't perform your job well. So, oh my God, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. We're just chit chatting. We're just chit chatting, hanging out. We're t we're talking. We're talking about filming weddings. But I don't do that anymore. After I got uh, my last job, not this current one, I said we're done doing this shit. Waterboy, I do not blame you on that one. It is absolutely terrible it's stressful especially if you know them like i the only time i came out of filming retirement was because my my dj friend was like hey i will dj your wedding for free if you help me if you help me film this last wedding i'm like great It is super stressful. They're stressed and they're stressed and you're stressed. And it's like an all day thing. Like you don't sleep well the night before. It's just, Jesus Christ. Bye, oh my God. Vaca Studio, VK Studio. I'm gonna call you Vacation Studio. How are you doing? Welcome on in. And no problem with the shout out folks. Make sure you're following Doug Nut. He does, he does very interesting Twitch content as well as YouTube. You had it, Vodka. Oh, dang it. Please don't call me Vacation Studio. Vacation Studio sounds like, like one of those companies you see at the mall that like has the green screen and like lets kids like 
do photo shoots. Like that's what Vacation Studio sounds like. So, oh my God, well, walk on it. I'm sorry I fucked up your name, but that's just gonna happen. Classic stepdad move. I, I like Vacation Studio. If I ever open up one of the a mall kiosk, it's called, it's 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 called Vacation Studio. I'm taking it. It's mine. Oh, thank you, Doug Nut. I appreciate that. Now I need the watch hours. So what we're doing right now, oh, we're talking. So I'm, tr I'm just trying to get all this stuff together. I need to make all the, I need to make all the, the insides. Um, we, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm so close to the YouTube partner program. My only thing I'm not, I don't have is the watch time because I make a lot of shorter videos. Uh, so what we're doing is we're taking all my cooking streams and we're going to put them on YouTube. So hopefully that works. I can kind of, I can kind of, kind of do that as we go. Um, weddings are stressful. Concerts slash band gigs are fun. I like those. I like those. Yeah, I love, I love filming concerts. Uh, those are great. I like, uh, even like interviews. I've done, I love interviews. So... How far in the ravioli process? We just made the dough. That's got to take a little nap skis. We're going to make the insides. We're going to go from there. I don't think I've ever filmed sports. I did film my two favorite things that I've filmed. Um, I have. Yes, I am. Yeah. Uh, my two things I have favorite filmed. I have filmed a 14 year old's birthday party in the deep basement of an apartment and that was really weird and that was fucking so weird and hilarious and i was the only white kid there i was the only white guy so it was a little, it was a little weird it was a little weird bunch of 14 year olds rapping dancing and i'm like i got hired off craigslist don't take craigslist uh, if you got you get any advice from me don't take jobs off craigslist but the other craigslist job i did was this is what happened okay I got asked to film and host this red carpet section of this guy's birthday party. He's like, we need someone that can be a Ryan Seacrest type. Me, obviously, I look, I look like this. Obviously, Ryan Seacrest fucking material. And we need someone to film it. So I'm like, cool, I have all the equipment. I just get a, I'll just get a friend to film it with me. He's like, we just want you to like, we want you to ask questions to the guests that are coming in. It could be, it could be whatever you want. It could be literally whatever you want. And I'm like, great. So I'm asking him like, you know, can you dunk over the LeBron? How many kids can you fight? We're talking, we're talking, we're talking. Then all of a sudden we're standing there and everyone kind of goes quiet and starts cheering. Then everyone turns. And they look at these big, these big screen TVs at this bar. And then a softcore pornography starts playing. Um, turns out the guy was in a softcore porn in the 80s. And they thought it'd be really funny for his birthday to show it at this bar. And we watched the whole thing. And then I interviewed him afterwards. I need to find this footage. It's so good. Because I, I interviewed him before, didn't know what was going on, and then interviewed him afterwards, and then also was like, what the fuck? Uh, and then on the way home, we got Uber on the way home. I'm, sa I'm sitting there with my good buddy, my good buddy who filmed, and we're just like silent. We, did, I don't, we didn't talk for a week. And then we, we la ever since we've been laughing about it, but it's been like, what the fuck just happened? A PowerPoint of their OnlyFans. I love it. I love it. Uh, were they spitting bars? I've been interviewed by other students back when I was a student in Colorado. They interviewed me because I, I was like the older freshman there. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what we you crazy kids are dancing while you're funny music, right? Oh my God, Starlight! Thank you for those bits, baby. Thank you for those bits. Bits, how are you doing? Thanks for the bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. 
How do you get closer to your friends? Oh, that's the last thing I want to do. But yeah, that was the situation. So don't always take jobs on Craigslist, but sometimes they work out. Not only did he pay us, he paid us. He 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 paid us what he was gonna pay us, paid us more money on top of that, and covered our whole bar bill for the rest of the evening. And we're just giving us drinks the whole entire night. It was I haven't reached out to that guy in a while, and I'm like, oh my god. Where are the, where are the boats at? Uh, oh, they're just, they got moved a little bit, that's all. They're here. They're right here. The boats are there. Try, exactly. What a fucking, oh, he was so nice. He laughed his ass, his, it's weird because like, his wife is there, and like, she's into it, and I'm like, not trying to yuck anyone's yell, here. like, isn't this a little awkward? No? Okay, then. Oh, my God. Watch their own porn, right? There's, it's all levels. It's levels. Power move. You fucking buttes, what's happening? Quick saying, how you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. I'm getting all my shout outs in here. Okay, now you're calling with the boats. We got the boats, I promise. The boats are there. The boats are there. How much fun was last night, dude? Holy shit. I had such a great goddamn time yesterday. I, uh, I, uh, I, d I messaged him this morning. And I'm like, we got to do that again. Because that was, that was, uh, fantastic. Brett. Friends all come closer. That's right. I mean, technically they do in a physical, in a physical stance. All right, I got this. <clears throat> come in peace. We're not making eye contact, okay? Just don't make eye contact. It's back to back. On a scale, on a scale of one to watching softcore but how fun was last night oh my god it was watching everyone softcore born glad to hear it man i knew oh yeah it was great it was fucking awesome i can see i can see why you got why you were talking up them so much i'm like this is a great place to hang out what's for lunch we're making raviolis and we're talking about <laughs> We're talking about weird video gigs I've done in the past. Where are the mushrooms I bought? Ugh. I have mushrooms. Where do they all go? Ugh, so much food in here. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Ugh, more mushrooms. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Do you guys ever have any weird gigs because of your guys' jobs? Jeff Boyardee. Je Chef Ron RD. There we go, baby. That's a stepdad. Mushrooms are for stepdad? Good. I'm sorry you don't like delicious mushrooms. Whose problem is that? So I'm pulling up the rest of the... So basically, we're just going to make the fillings. I did a video game one time in the past for a faith healer who was a self-proclaimed apostle and watched him heal a bunch of people with the power of God. He also took everyone's prescriptions. They brought them with them. And the money asked for the specifically with the exact amount. Oh, my God. Jesus. No weird gigs. I did have a third child trying to flex his baby biceps in my office yesterday. Gross. What'd you do? Did you throw down? Did you throw a chair at him? I mean, you would never do that. We never, we never promote violence. Hate every son, but they're like, but you got a good story out of it. I think sometimes, what's the delicious mushroom? They're amazing. Every, almost every mushroom is delicious. Uh, I think we need to work on the potato one first.
Until you, exactly. It definitely, it definitely took a turn. I literally could. Do you think you get in trouble for that though, for fighting a child? I got a gig for making merch for a Minecraft event. I wanted to Minecraft myself. Oh no. What kind of merch was it? Was that anything weird, was it? Those Minecraft kids are weird, baby. Okay, I need to get some potatoes ready. Okay, okay, make the filling. Okay, I can do that. Anyone need anything? I just want booze. I want booze. Quick Sam, please. Step stepdad needs booze to survive. Do we cook often here? We usually okay, so we usually cook. We usually we usually cook once a week, normally on Sundays. Uh, but last night I was on camel stream and I didn't want to tear down this whole setup, throw it all in my basement and the next day bring it back up. So we're doing the cooking stream today. Tomorrow we're doing whatever the fuck I feel like. Ain't no laws while you're drinking claws. That's what my dad always taught me. And then he ran right into a cop car. No seatbelts. Who cares? Okay, so right now, we're working on this Tuscan potato ravioli requested by my fiance Ashley. She gets what she gets. So, she gets what she wants. Ain't no laws. Ain't, ain't, I'm kidding. Ain't no booze in the grocery. Only wine? Jesus Christ. Get out of Canada. That's not, that's not, that's not, a, good, that's not a good place for stepdad. Jesus. White Claws and Chef Boy RD. They're starting to add. Oh yeah, Doug, you're 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 a Canadian boy. Alright, so Cube's gotta boil. Okay. You were in Quebec. I'm convinced that Canada Canada is a fictional fantasy land populated by gnomes ruled by the gnome queen. Oh my god. I, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't be. I, I have no evidence uh, on the contrary. If, if any of my Canadian boys in, in chat want to say otherwise, let me know. Hey, Captain, how you doing? And the Knights Ride Mises. We're not allowed to talk about the Gnome Queen. It's like Fight Club. That's what every Gnome Queen says, Doug Nut. <laughs> please, please. I got these. Are, okay, I don't know. If, dang it. I don't know if you guys seen, seen, dang it. I don't know if you guys have seen, these are potatoes. Wow, look at them. Look at that potato right there. I dropped, I dropped a potato, but I gotta, I gotta wash it anyway. So who gives a shit? Drop this one too. Who gives a shit? Those are some nice taters. Hell yeah. In America, we do a couple things right. One, drink. Two. Potatoes. How high do I have to roll to seduce the gnome queen? How much? How much charisma you got, homie? How much? How bigger? How bigger? How bigger the gnome queen's creamers? That's what I want to know. How big are those bazongers? Norms are. I I read it as norms. Norms are very short, but there was a movie called Norm the Gnome. Uh, I think I know that because of podcast stuff, so. Uh, Gnome Queen supplies the cream to all that's important. So pretty big. Just getting some grass, drinking early on this beautiful day. Nothing else to do like go to, oh, say a cookout. Wow, I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little busy. A little busy today. I've been ripping out the carpet and stuff in the, in the upstairs swole room. 
Timmy Ho's coffee is pretty great. Say less. You could be busy cooking out. No, I want to make ravioli today. We'll do we'll do a cookout another time. I promise. Because I wanna I wanna have I wanna have like you and like some streamer people over. Uh, no, I couldn't find them. I could not find the Voodoo Ranger ones. I went to the to the one seventeenth Giant Eagle too. I do like Tim Horton's coffee. When we go to when I go to Michigan to visit my sister and my nephew and uh, you know her husband, we always gotta get the Tim Hortons. Right? That's what I thought too. Ah, you learn. You learn. Excuse me, are y'all with the Oh cult? my god. Hey baby. hey baby. It's pretty good. I mean, let's it's still fast food coffee, but it's pretty good fast food coffee. Although I will say I do have a, there's a place in my heart for McDonald's coffee. I think McDonald's coffee tastes pretty good. Pretty much after they burned that woman, whatever happened. So, um, thank you so much. 15 months Westfall, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh. Did that one today. Mm -mm -mm. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. And I'll definitely see you later. Thanks for the sub. God dang, 15 months. How you living out there, Westfall? Westfall, you gotta check. We saw, I had someone show me in the Discord. Um, Voodoo Ranger Bratwurst. I know you like your Voodoo Ranger. Everyone seems to love McDonald's coffee. I think it's good. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think Burger King has shitty coffee. Taco Bell does. Uh, I like Dunkin' Donuts. Voodoo Ranger is pretty tight. I agree. You're a tea drinker. I think yeah. Taco Bell has coffee. Is that Taco Bell does breakfast? My neck of the woods is a bodega central. So, ooh, I really like good coffee. Coffee and I'm a coffee and Red Bull kind of guy. I also like my cold brew. We make cold brew every week. Yeah, I do like a McDonald's coffee. I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, it's the ingredients that make it good. Maybe it's the sweat. Maybe it's the sweat of 16-year-olds. I don't know. My issue is that, the, the, that, that they think sugar... Oh, my God, yes. I literally have, like... I can throw a rock and hit, like, three Dunkin'... I have three Dunkin' Donuts within... Five minutes of me? It's insane. Hi, Miso. Want to come say hi? No, you're looking at birds? Okay, cool. Love you too, kid. Super Neo, hello. You're a coffee of Bailey's guy? Hell yeah. Start the day off right, baby. Give Miso a potato? I don't think Miso would eat here. Still, we'll see if she eats a potato skin. Miso. Come here, silly Billy. Oh, you're eating. We'll give her a second. I only drink iced coffee and I love the Dunkin'. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts makes fantastic iced coffee. I peel like a weirdo? What do you mean I peel, peel like a weirdo? I'm just holding it and peeling it. How do you peel it? With your teeth? Fucking weirdo. Done eating? Of course you're not. You peel your potatoes with a knife? Okay, that's pretty badass. Oh, people peel like apples and shit. We're making ravioli for all the boys and girls. We're making ravioli. 
I am a weirdo. I know. I'm in this... Guys, guys, guys. I'm in this body every day of my life. What do you think... What do you think happens? I don't wake up and go, wow, I feel... I feel like a... Like a... Like a bucket of sunshine. It's like, I feel like a bag of rocks exploded. Lisa, are you actually going to come here? Holy shit. This potato peel? Come here. Come here. She knows. You're going to try to eat it? You're going to try to eat it? Hold on. I'm just going to try to grab her. Sniff it. Come here. Uh, no, no, no. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Here's me, so. Say hi. That's Miso. Miso exists. She just doesn't like being on camera. Hey, you can go. I'm sorry. I betrayed our trust today. You can have the potato peel. I know you don't really like people food, though. It's a dog. <laughs> it's a dog. Wash my hands real quick. Can't get... Can't get pet hair and ramble, they say. She she will only eat like canned tuna. She only eat canned tuna and maybe a little bit of turkey. That's it. Won't even we'll sniff it. Won't won't eat anything else. Your cat's like pizza. That's pretty badass. She doesn't, it's nice. She doesn't try to like grab any food or anything. She likes what she likes and it's not a lot. But yeah, she does not like being, she doesn't, she knows. She knows that I'm streaming. She avoids this area normally, including plastic. Misa will chew on like packing tape. She likes packing tape. I don't, I don't know why. The stripe kind of blast. It's such, it's like, it's so weird that some cats are so particular, right? Goats are cute. Yeah, are they jumping on rocks? Where's my water? Where'd you guys, where'd you guys put Step Day Around's water? Hmm. Okay. Gotta cut these in a little cubies. You have a TikTok to send to me? Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. Folks, if you guys, if you guys join, if you guys join the Discord, you can send me videos. We talk about animals and stuff in there. It's a good time. Right now I've been playing, I've been playing Elden Ring when I get the chance in the Discord. So that's been super fun. I've been dying a lot. Anyone else playing Elden Ring right now? I love it. Game's great. The game, the game just like knocks my dick in the dirt though. It truly just kicks my ass. We so yeah, we talk about I'll never I'll never join the Discord. Wow. Uh Elden Ring is so good. I agree. Elden Ring is a mood. Yeah, we talk about my top 10 waifus, which are just Peggy Hill, Peggy Hill, Peggy Hill, and so on and so forth with Peggy Hill. So. Uh, Doug, now what, uh, what's, what class did you end up picking? Uh, if I join the Discord to get closer to my step to I finally have a positive... I wouldn't say I wouldn't say you'll have a positive role model, but you'll have a you'll have a role model. Put it uh, that way. I only eat vegan wings. Oh my god! I'm going like a weird magic dex build. I went with prisoner as well. Right now, I'm trying to get my intellect up to 18 so I can do a little more spells, and then just kind of going from there. Prisoner is great. I'm only like, I'm only about 10 hours in. Not Carla totally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Well, Carl is scary. Carl is scary in a good way, though. But then again, I would probably pick over Carl over like Diane Chambers. The scarier, the better. If they look like they would, they would, they would cut off parts of me for fun. In. If I don't go to bed every night thinking this might be the last night I, I'm here, what's the point of living? I made a horrifying Dobby Shrek hybrid character. Oh my god. If you have a picture of that, please send it to me because I want to see it. But I'm liking it. I thought I, I thought I wouldn't like the open world because I get like, I like the Dark Souls games because it's like you kind of have to go where the game tells you. And you kind of have to deal with it that way. But this game is like, what if you just did anything you want at all times? I don't like having that kind of power. They always say absolute power corrupts absolutely. When's human Shrek? Do we have to have a goal? We'll do an onion. Well, what is Shrek? He just likes onions, right? I really like this. I feel like I'm not... I think if this game had a quest law, it'd be terrible. Now it feels like I'm just riding around and going, that looks interesting. Let's go see what that's about. Oh, I'm going to die now. I found dragons. I definitely spawned in an area. I spawned in an area yesterday that had about 10 dragons. I'm like, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I still haven't beaten, I still haven't beaten the tree sentinel. That was the greatest endorsement of Elden Ring. Yes, it was the Magic Dragons. Yeah, it was that band. And they just kept saying radioactive. And then I died from poison. Feel like everyone going that game, I'm not supposed to, right? That's my nightmare. See? See? I got hit by a boulder yesterday for no reason. I'm like, okay. Is the true final boss? I'm waiting for someone to, to mod. I can't wait for the mods. Because what, Dark Souls 3 had the gun mod, which was hilarious. That's going to start boiling. I need some salt. Make sure when you, when you boil water, you add salt, nerds. Add salt. I looked at buying that game 20 times. Oh. I'm not a Souls gamer, just living the experience vicariously through my best friend's playthrough. Nothing wrong with that. It's not for everyone, guys. No game should be for everyone. Except the Fast and Furious video game, and that is for everyone. Got this. Got this. You've been enjoying Lost Ark? Did you play did you play New World at all? We played we played a good amount of New World and it just kind of fell off of that game. I miss being really into an MMO. But I want I don't know. I don't know what I want from MMO. 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 Did not okay. I have Garfield Kart. Let's play Garfield Kart sometime. It's a great game. I never liked MMO before this one. Really? What's the what's the level cap looking like? Ugh. You're asking me <laughs> It's all good. I just want to live my EverQuest days. Excuse me, are y'all with the cult? Time for my favorite Saturday tradition. Listening to Mayor Squawking while I take a nap. It's not squawking, it's talking. God dang it, Ronnie. You take, you take your nap, he's been busy all day power leveling. Just start playing the new Tomb Raider games? How are they? I am but a new, that's understandable. We used to play WoW a ton back in the day, but now I find them grindy, right? I like PvP. I'm a big PvP boy. So I want to kick some asses. Thank you so much for that sub, buddy. Thanks for the sub.
I'm old, stepdad? Like, really old? Like, how old? They're all free? Oh, yeah! You know what adventure game I just couldn't get into? The, uh, the Uncharted series. I really don't think the Uncharted games are very good. I, like, almost... I got to a point in the first one, I played, like, the remaster of it, and I'm like, this is kind of shitty. This was like, ow, ow. This was like the game to play on PlayStation. I'm like, this blows. PlayStation people have no class. Took Hill to Botanical Gardens, then we went to BA Sweeties. Nice, what'd you get from BA Sweeties? Try to take a breath a break from Hunt. That's a great idea. Everyone, everyone needs a break from Hunt. Stop, stop hunting. That's going. Let's get the mushies up and going. Oh, Banana Laffy Taffy. Yeah, Hunt Showdown. Uh, homemade. There we go. Laffy Taffy's great. They tell great jokes. Ronnie, please tell us a Laffy Taffy joke, please. That's all I've ever wanted from you. I know. I never ask you for anything. Never ask you for a goddamn thing, Ronnie. Mayor, it's burning. Not burning, I'm just boiling. Look, I'm just boiling potatoes. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. I gotta lurk, talk to you guys. All right, man, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Okay. Cool, we're making, we're gonna make the mushroom filling. Good luck with the ravioli. Thank you. Ravioli, ravioli. Eat a potato. Why do bananas like gymnastics? Because they can do the splits? Uh. Nailed it. <coughs> Crushed it. God damn it. Uh, mushrooms. Cut up some mushrooms, put them in a bowl. Cut up some mushrooms, put them in a bowl. Look at this crazy mushroom. Look at this mushroom. It looks like a it looks like a, a bloodborne boss. I've been I've I've exposed I've exposed myself. Ronnie, I know. I've been I've been exposed, baby. Look, when you go to comedy school like I did, first day they make you do that. You'll give me a mushroom filling. I'm looking for I'm looking for a mushroom stamp, baby. I'm looking for a mushroom stamp. What's a snowman's favorite food? Oh shit. What's a snowman's What's a snowman's favorite food? Hmm. It's not carrot. Is it the is it the blood of the innocent children? That's kind of cringe. A chili cheeseburger. Oh, that's cringe. That's so cringe. That hurt me. No more. That's comedy, baby. That, that is that certainly something. I'm disappointed in you, Ron. Me too. I'm disappointed in me every day. Rude. You don't, you don't have to, you know, I know, I know. What a, uh. All right, so we're making the filling. And I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Good, good night. Ugh. Mushrooms for your boy. Mushrooms for your dad. 
Taste the food now. Uh, yes. The, uh, the 15th. I don't think he's, I don't think he's announced it yet, but the 15th. That's a Tuesday. A tea, a tease day. <sighs> what was, what was the other thing? It's cheese day, ain't it? Uh, cats, and what am I tasting? Whatever, I don't care. I want to try some of these weird mushies. Thank you. Oh, no, not yet. That, that's, I will say, that's probably not going to happen until probably, like, at least July. We're going to figure some stuff out for that. The, bi the day Bison Grace reveals the most important day in your life, or for me, was the Tuesday. It is, uh, these are cremini mushrooms. Yeah, I'll let, you, I'll let you guys know. That's no... I know, well, get your... Get your freaking, um... Get your freaking GoPro working outside. Go get your hotspot up and going, and we can do that. I really want to get a GoPro. Street Fighter movie is great. Uh, yeah, no, no, no worries, Westwell. But yeah, that's no secret. So yeah, so toilet meat, so toilet meat moved down to Florida, and um, he lives in the Orlando area now. And I told Westfall that I'm gonna, I'll be making a visit to go see toilet meat and then making a drive up to go see meet him and and his lovely wife when i go down there but i have no date right now i'm assuming it, it'll be this year but i don't really have a date nor time so but of course you're gonna be one of the first people to know about it may even do a show down there we'll see we'll see if timing permits The Street Fighter movie is great, by the way. There's nothing wrong with the Street Fighter movie. Uh, yeah, do yeah, do IRL there. Yeah, get your GoPro all set up. be drooping out of my shorts ew sweaty sweaty ronnie uh time okay Stepdad World Tour when? Oh man, I gotta figure that out. And I guess I guess I'm allowed to say it now because he mentioned it the other day. So like, okay, yeah. So I'm opening for MC Chris in July, and then uh, technically I was supposed to go on tour with him, but I couldn't I couldn't make it work. So I'm a little bummed, but pretty excited. Just visit one of the nudist colonies. Oh hell yeah. He just wants to he just wants to see me nude, which I don't blame you. But yeah, we were we were we were in talks of me being on the tour, but I could not. He said I had to be there for every date and I just started my job. So, you know, it is what it is. It sucks, but hey, things happen. <laughs> So right now I am getting I'm getting the fillings all going. This is a mushroom mushroom onion kind of filling. I would love to do a tour. 
it was on it was on my bucket list let's put it that way so maybe maybe one day in the future but i'm excited to do a live show again it's been it's been about two years since i've done actual live 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 comedy rapping so and i think before we do that we'll we'll maybe even do a, a twitch version because you know not everyone get will get to see me in person so let's uh you know let's make that work baby right let's get let's just use the rest of these mushrooms and go from there Ugh. is anyone is anyone going to twitchcon this year I think I think we're gonna do a sub goal for the concert stream. That's like a big that's like a big old production, so I will be doing uh tomorrow at 8 p.m. I'll be doing an interview on Zave Zave 325's channel, and I agreed that I would do one song on his channel, so get a little you get a little sneaky peeky. You're looking into PAX East? Ooh. I hear PAX is awesome. I've had friends perform it. I've had friends just go. They say it's great. God, do they still make Penny Arcade comics? Holy shit. 8 p.m. My bad. Now, did I say 8 a.m.? I meant 8 p.m. I meant 8. I meant 8 p.m. Deck out the basement on the green wall. Here's the thing. It's getting that's getting demoed on the 17th now instead of April 7th. So we will we will have to figure out we we may have to do it in the living room. We'll see. So basically what's going to happen is they are they're demoing the basement and then we need to put up a bunch of drywall and stuff too again. But I did talk to uh I did talk to uh, my grandfather today a little bit. He stopped by with a computer and uh, he's like, yeah, I can help you like install drywall and stuff. So. Okay, so we made that. Yeah, I like it. I want to make it a whole I want to make it a whole production. So you guys feel like, you know, you get your money's worth. Did you get the AOL set up on it? Yeah, I got the Netscape. I got him a Netscape account. Okay, olive oil. Uh, I installed, I installed Kazaa. That's the way to go, baby. Look at that right there. I did, well, I installed, I installed why I I installed LimeWire and then I downloaded LimeWire Pro. Nice shorts, thank you. Look at these shorts. Boom, boom, baby, they're looking good. Just bought Girl Scout cookies. What Girl Scout cookies did you buy? I do like Girl Scout cookies. I'm not a big sweets person, but man. Man, oh man, do I love the Girl Scout cookies. They're new, they just dropped the new, they're called Adventure Fools. That's kind of a cool name actually.
So we're gonna cook this down, and then we're gonna add the cheese filling. What kind of what kind of cookies are they? Go Samo Samoas are my favorite. Frozen, frozen Samoas. Oh, ooh baby, ooh baby baby, baby 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 baby. Ooh baby 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 baby. Oh. I just want to just want to cook these down a little bit. Uh I was watching a Girl Scout put some fentanyl in them. You ain't wrong. The new ones are like brownie cookies with salted caramel, caramel, frozen samosa, ice cold milk. Frozen Samoas are where it's at. I feel like the milk, you would have to have like one of those mugs that has the fake ice around the outside. Those things, ooh. Ooh, baby. You know what also goes really good with frozen Samoas? Alcohol. Yeah, no scroll. I, I, you're a big tag along fan. What is the um, what's the peanut butter one? I like the peanut butter ones. No alcohol for me. That's understandable. Hey, it ain't for everyone. Stepdad, stepdad kind of thrives off of it. So he thrives off of bad decisions and alcohol, which usually the alcohol leads to the bad decisions. What is that squirrel? Is that a horny squirrel? Ugh. All right, let's get, we got, we got potatoes are boiling. I feel like I need more cameras. Every time I add a new camera, I'm like, we can probably go for one more. Hell yeah. Post is 100% a horny scroll. I'm assuming most things that, that, uh, that Ronnie posts is just horny things. He's a little, he's a little hornball. Sometimes he'll just call me. He'll just call me in the middle of the night and he'll be like, hey, 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 man, I am a horny. And he sounds like Waluigi for some reason. And then, and then he hangs up the phone. I love the Code Miko one. Just trying to get a little bit of the water out of this, I think. I watch Ronnie run over every pedestrian. Yeah, he gets he gets horny off of violence. He's a real he's a real he's a real horny boy for the violence. So here's the thing about mushrooms, they got water in them. Okay, so we got that. That needs to go a little bit. Well, that's going. We're gonna make. Ugh. We're gonna make the rest of the potato thing. No, I'm a pacifist. Pacifist these through your nuts. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Let me pass these fists. Uh, I need to grab this. We're gonna take the potatoes. We're gonna. Mayor, it's burning. Nothing is burning. You don't know. 
You don't know, and Foxy, you don't care. You said you hate mushrooms, so... We're letting this cook down a little bit. All right. Potatoes go in. Boom. You care about them potatoes? But they're, they already got pulled. Wait, who hates mushrooms? Foxy does. Mushrooms are the greatest. All right, tablespoon butter, cream or whole milk, right? This doesn't make sense. Just so good. There we go. Let's try to get a little bit of color on this. Put that all the way down. It's 100% a texture thing. That makes sense. Need butter. Ugh. Okay, got a chunk here. Uh, exceptions. Deep fried. Ooh. God, I haven't heard, I haven't heard the restaurant name Hands in God knows how long. Wow. I don't even know if there's a Hands by us still. There is one at the mall. Deep fried's good, but deep fried anything's pretty much better. Okay, two tablespoons. Deep fried Oreos, deep fried Snickers bars, deep fried, uh, oh, what else? Just anything deep fried. Twinkies. I saw that people who leave the wrapper on butter when they are measuring it. What, really? I do. Okay, we got some cheese. Parmesan. Jalapeno bites, ooh. You like the vein? Hell yeah, I like that vein, baby. Who doesn't like that vein? Ooh, jalapeno bites, cheddar poppers. Grilled chicken tendies, wow. Okay. Parsley, salt, black pepper, and nutmeg. I have nutmeg, nutmeg, nutmeg. I have nutmeg. Yep. Take this off the heat. Um, what was I getting over here? What was I getting over here, girl? Hmm. With a vein, I'll chop up. Ooh, deep fried mac and cheese. There you go. Uh, parsley. That's right. Salt, pepper, and parsley. Also, I have pre-shredded cheese. I know it's a sin, but leave me alone. Not everyone's got time for it. I got a KitchenAid in that corner, baby. 
Uh, but we're gonna mash this. You missed Miso. I mean, Miso showed up today. You missed the Stray Cats? I'm worried. Uh, that Miso is, has been stressed out for multiple reasons. One could be the cat, so. All right. It's all about consistency, baby. Get that, get that garlic. No one saw me put that in. No one saw me put that in today. Yesterday I used real garlic as I wanted to show off. Today I don't give two shits. Okay. We got the stuff we need for this. Woo! You want some pierogies now? We're gonna do a pierogi stream soon. I wanted my hand I wanted to do uh, have my hands at the at the ravioli first. But then we're gonna do some pierogues. Cause I, I respect a pierogi more than I do a ravioli. As most people should. Let's be honest. Okay. Got this. We're good. Okay. Okay, now... This one. Okay. Well, are we going to do a St. Patrick's themed cooking stream? Uh, yes. But pierogi, pierogies are not, are not Irish. They're Polish. Put green dye in everything. We're, we'll probably do a corned beef. We'll probably do a corned beef thing. All right, so I need to make a cream sauce. Okay. Just sit. We're not doing green, <laughs> green colored hot dogs. Jesus Christ. Okay. Gonna make the sauce for this one. Let's make. We're just gonna make all the fillings. That's that's the next goal here. Just sit there and drink. I mean, that's what I normally do during these streams. We haven't even started drinking yet today. It's already f almost four? Yikes. And just to cut down. On the amount of shit I have to clean. We'll wash this out real quick. Remember when Heinz thought it? Ugh. I could handle. I could handle the green ketchup. The purple ketchup was something that I'm like, I never, ever want to see this again in my life. No, thank you. Who do you think I am? What kind of monster would want such an item? Oh, purple. God, isn't Heinz... 
Heinz ketchup is the best ketchup, right? We're all we're all on, we're all like in agreement of this, correct? It yeah, it tastes off. Uh, I need. Oh, is this it right here? Nope. We need to. Sandwich, dude. Hello. How are you doing, buddy? How was, uh, how was hired or fired yesterday? I was streaming during it, but I plan on watching the VOD this weekend. How did you do? You can spoil it for me. I'm okay with that. You got the job? You got the job? Hell yeah, baby. I knew you would, baby. What was your, what it, what was your, what were you trying to get the job for? This real quick. Don't you believe someone in, in a marketing department got blue waffle? I mean, isn't that amazing? Oh my god. Make sure you guys are following that sandwich dude, by the way. Has has loop pedals, does a song for raids, plays Death Stranding. I think he's gonna start playing Elden Ring! And he said he wants to collab with this fucking stepdad. So we're gonna work on that. I, uh, it was semi-professional dumpster diver. I like how it's semi-professional. Not fully professional, just semi, just like a little bit. A little, a little baby bit. Running out of room again. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Cutting. So I got the potato filling, I got the mushroom filling. Let's do, uh, let's do some, uh, let's cut some bacon. Got some bacon up for a bacon cheeseburger ravioli. Like an internship. Yes, it's like an internship. Uh, I only eat vegan wings. Oh my god. I know that's not true. You dang kids of your vegan wings. You hipsters. What a lovely view of the bacon, isn't it? Nothing crazy, but it's bacon. Who doesn't like a little bit of bacon? These aren't rainbow, alley face, they aren't rainbow, it's fine. What are you sorry about? Don't be sorry, you're good, Bipsy. How are you doing? I'm not a colorful person, alley face, okay? I'm not a colorful person. I'm just, I'm just a stepdad. Just a stepdad. With no light, with no light in my life. Dang it. Uh, my bacon in the freezer says best until November 2021. Can I still use it? Please, no. Do not, use, do not use that bacon. Even as a joke, maybe you could give it to ducks. Maybe, maybe if you cook it, you could give it to geese. Actually, fuck geese. Don't give it to geese. Geese suck. Geese are like really dumb. They're for idiots. Uh, bitch, can I get a shout out for Ellie face, please? Please wear a helmet. My, my big, my big dumb forehead could, could use a smack or two. Let's be honest. You're, you're a good, you're a Gucci gang. You like geese? No, thanks. Discord is a big of bug notification and Twitch is Twitch. You know that I don't even get email notifications. So if you want to see someone actually cook raviolis, 
They did they did ravioli rainbow raviolis. It was a it was a Teletubby experience of a good time. God dang it. What's when's the next cooking with heat, Ellie? It's been a year. My notifications don't work anymore. I uh Monday baby, what are we making? What's on what's on the what's on the books? We're just gonna we're just gonna cook this bacon. Cooking bacon for the cheeseburger raviolis. Still not sure, Hallia. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Elder Scrolls cookbook? Ooh. I like your style. I gotta show it who's boss. And so I don't have a lot of kit. You guys know, I don't have a lot of control in my life. So it's like, why not? Why not destroy beautiful things? Look at that mushroom. I do have a walk. Ah. Uh. Are you going to say like walk walk these nuts in your mouth? You know, no one can answer me this yesterday. Why did the why did the these nuts joke come back? What happened? What did I miss? Like, that's been coming back in frickin' full force lately. Look at these little bits. Look at them! Walk and roll, baby. You'll be able to taste the chaos. That's what I want. Just go where the dumpster takes me. I guess these nuts was never out of style. These nuts never went away. Hell yeah. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. I just, I've noticed an influx, that's all. Maybe that's just how Twitch works. It's like when I see someone on Twitter, when I see it, it's, it's only, it only really happens with Twitch Twitter lately. But whenever someone on Twitch Twitter says something, they copy it or they like put their dumb spin on it. And it turns out most Twitch streamers aren't funny. Oops, <laughs> oopsie doopsie. The singer from Trivium has been trying to bring those back for a while. I think Nandre single-handedly brought... I like Nandre. He's a funny dude. I watched, I watched him stream inside of a dog cage for hours. That was riveting. Something that shouldn't have been riveting was riveting. Don't cook, just order food. Make someone else cook for you. Just invite your stepdad over. I'll yell at you about about your stairs. Any Twitch streamer isn't funny. I would pretty much agree with that. So, and that's that's including me in the boat. Okay, it's the Noah's Ark of comedy. And God damn it, are we have we been sinking for a while now? Sandwich, dude, what kind of sandwich? Did you eat, did you eat a sandwich today? Stepdad yells at my choice. That's right. No anime. I'm taking it. All right, we're gonna get that, get that fat out of here. Get these little bacon bitties. Scooping it in the dumbest way possible because that's how stepdaddies do. Should have thought about this a little more. Try not to waste any more frickin'. No. I'm not trying to mock up my kitchen even more than I normally do. This is two nights. This is two days of cooking, folks. Okay. Come cook these tacos. What kind of tacos? I had a turkey, I had a turkey and salami. Ooh, 
it's a lot just that's a nice because like turkey has a very specific flavor that salami with the 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 amount of like salt factor in it and whatnot so dope so dope did you put mustard on it are you a mayo are you mayo guy white people taco night hell it's my favorite checking in on you and ashley we're doing good grandpa we're doing good over here we're we've been doing some house renovations they're going okay they're going okay Ah, screw it. It's gonna go bad soon anyways. We have to, uh... Grandpa, we have to demo... We have to demo our entire basement because it's flooded. So that's been... That's been really fun. We get, we get to... It gets demoed on the 17th. I usually muster on that, but a little spicy mayo today? Hell yeah, yeah. Turns out our problem was bigger than it was before. So, it's okay. It's on the plus side, we get to we get to make we get to make my office slash stream room more efficient. So I'm okay with that. The downside is it costs money. And I just I won't have stairs for a little bit. No, not even not even sewer backup, just we have clay foundation. It blows. So, it is what it is. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Insurance does not cover that. Believe me, I tried. It's just old houses. Clay Fighter 63 to third, right? As long as I can be the Elvis guy, that's all I care about. Insurance is a scam, I agree. But it's okay. We're we're making it work right now. As you can tell, Grandpa, we 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 painted this room. It's no longer that yellow cover. Ah, it's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. We have to get we have to get a water heater because of it. I'm a little more bummed about that, but eh. It looks good, thank you. With an adult beverage how about if i i'll do i'll do a shot how about that i need it after after today i think i need it Ugh. but grandpa how are you doing how's business going All right, Captain. Cheers, buddy. You know I love you. I love all of you. You're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out with me on a Saturday afternoon. You can be doing anything. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I make... You know me. Ninja, ninja amount of money. Actually, we're, um, I do. Actually, Grandpa, we were talking, I was, I went out with my parents, uh, the other day. We talked about you for a moment, where, uh, well, a well, Ashley brought you up and said it was really nice that you, uh, that you called and helped us, helped us with the plumbing issue via Zoom. I had to do paperwork for like an hour, then get my work truck fits gross. Paperwork's the worst. I want to hear Akana having a kid. We had to get up at 640 because we had a football. Oh, want to hear Akan. What position? What position is your kid playing? I used to play football. 
what chat you guys can guess what position i play uh I technically i played three positions and don't make the joke of my position was left out because that's not true defense linebacker they have at safety right now hell yeah that's a, that's an important role one might say the most important and i wasn't I didn't do, I, I, technically I did play defense. I played both sides of the field, if you know what I mean, baby. And I wasn't a linebacker. Six forty, Jesus. He doesn't have the football IQ, no, no, no. Safety is easy. Safety's easy. You see the one person running towards you. That's the guy you got to stop. I can see you rapping in the field. Oh, man. Well, I will tell you, if I did not, I played, I played, uh, I played football in middle school. I definitely, to I definitely told jokes. I was always telling jokes. Okay, this looks cooked. Let's get. Think about this. We gotta get. Trying to get this oil out of here. Need like a cup or something. Well, let's use this. Ugh. I just I remember I remember playing football with people that I didn't really like and I'm like I don't really like doing this anymore they're like not like the the two things happened one we all we all we had one day where we all watched Brian's song and I didn't think it was very good and everyone else was crying and that made me feel really awkward um and then the other one was that we went over a kid's house and he had Starcraft and I was showing everyone how to play StarCraft. I just didn't get it. I'm like, I don't really know if I like these people. So my positions, I played, I played safety. Uh, I played quarterback. I was a backup. I was like third string quarterback. I played tight end. Because that's what I got. I got a tight end, if you know what I mean. Ugh. But I didn't I didn't mind it. My parents were always like, you know, you can do what you want if you got if you got good grades, but we want you to try everything. You never know what you're gonna like. And I'm like, that's fair. And they always said, like, if I if I did it for one season and I didn't like it, I can go do my own thing. Which was that's what we did. I was never bad at sports. I just don't I'm just not a competitive I'm not a competitive person in that way. Honestly, I'm only really competitive when it comes to comedy. I, and I think it's just because I care too much about comedy and how it works. Okay, so we have that filling, this filling, that filling. Okay. I know I need to make a sauce. We need, to, we need to work out a sauce, and then we can start rolling out the ravioli. This sauce is from an Olive Garden recipe, apparently. So... Well, yeah. No, I liked... I don't mind sports. I like throwing the pigskin around. Ugh. Let's see here. I need two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of flour... One cup of heavy cream, three sun-dried tomatoes, salt, four ounces of gouda, and half cup milk. You like pro wrestling? I never got into wrestling. Like a little bit. 
like around, you know, when everyone else does at certain ages. Like, I liked it when, like, The Rock was around. I don't know why it didn't appeal to me. Mayor likes to fill the comedy graveyard with the corpses of all those he conquers. I agree. I agree. And not to say that I mean, get competitive and I just want to I just want to be the funny person. I think that's I think that's a fair that's a fair goal to have, don't you think? Don't you think? Okay. We need to we need to work on the sauce real quick, which I think we can just Okay, we can do that as, as the raviolis are cooking, apparently. I haven't seen this level in Elden Ring yet. Oh, man, this is like, it's like one of those trick bosses in Dark Souls, where, uh, where it's like there's some weird mechanic. My mechanic is alcohol. My favorite, port, my favorite sport is sleeping incorrectly and pretend the injury is from something badass. I agree. My lower back hurts a little bit today. It's only because I slept like an idiot. Danny, how are you doing? Welcome on in, buddy. We're, we're, we're working. We're working. We, we're working on some raviolis. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Are you playing Elden Ring right now? That's why I'm playing off stream. It's been great. Been a real toot and a hoot and a half. It's yeah, that's because it's because I saved a bunch. It's because I saved a bunch of orphans from a fucking fire, baby. That's how we do it. That's what I do every every Saturday morning when I wake up hungover. I go, what what can I do to better my community? And then I always seem to find the same bus full of orphans. It's really, really strange. What's going on, Uncle Joe? A regular boy RD over here. I am not. Oh. A regular boy. I'm not Italian, so I'm just a, I'm just a boy RD boy at this point. Back for groceries. I bought everyone anchovies for their pizza. No, just I want I want that pepperoni, baby. I want that pepperoni. Mandari. Oh, that's a. I think I've seen that video before. Don't mind me just using a speculum on my asshole to this great screen. That's fine. Just make sure you get the right camera. It's important that you get the fisheye lens for that kind of stuff. Otherwise, we're not going to see every little, every little crevice that I pay good money a month for. Okay? I pay good money for that. Do it right. How many poppers? <laughs> Woo! Oh, poppers. It'll, it'll definitely, if you take enough poppers, it'll, it'll definitely expand your mind and your butthole. Excuse oh, me, thank you for gifting a sub cult? to Danny. Let's go, baby. Do a gift. Let's do a gift. Thank you so much for gifting that sub and welcome to the non-cult community. All we ask is your undying love and respect for the non-cult community. And in return, you get nothing. You don't get a t-shirt, a password, a cloak, nor dagger. GG Easy. Damn, it looks like you used to brew your own IPAs. Fuck. I have brewed beer before, damn it. I don't really like IPAs. Once in a while, I like White an IPA. Port. Lord Octavius, thank you for that follow. I did used to brew beer. God damn it, this sucks. <laughs> this sucks. I hate this stream. I'm getting bullied again. I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to make fucking raviolis and not look like... That's true. I did... I did win an award for a beer that I made. It was called Just... It was called Just the Tip Heather. Uh... 
they did not they did not they said that we won but they would not say what the name was so ipa is voodoo ranger he's more on the sour scene right i'm more on the sour scene it's the mustache baby who looks better after the pandemic right oh oh you have no idea it's all about the angles it's all about that angle it's all about this angle i'm trying my best here I gotta, I gotta keep a, I gotta keep a cool, calm, and collective head here. Okay, so we got this dough. We're making raviolis. You look great. Oh, I love you guys too. You look good from all angles. Show calves. Oh my god, we did this yesterday. Look at this, baby. No, wait. I'll just take this cam. We'll take that cam, baby. Let's go. Got them calves going. Boom. Let's throw it up. Oh, look at that definition, baby. It's because I'm carrying the weight of the stream every day. Boom. Boom, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Model those socks for us. Oh, they're um they're lot they're lobster socks. They're let's bring this. This just I don't know why this is up here, but they're just they're lobsters. Who gives a shit? They're lobsters with with French shirts on. So they're traitors. I don't know how they allowed that emo, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do? Look at those snicker veins. Oh, it definitely, someone's getting rock, a different kind of rock lobster. All right, so this is our dough. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. All right, so we got, we got Olive Garden raviolis. We got, uh, we got potato raviolis, and we got a cheeseburger ravioli, okay? I'm flared and didn't even eat a popper. Oh, good. That stuff goes straight to your head, man. Like immediately. It's like a different kind of whip it. <laughs> Lobster mobsters. Yes. All right. So how do we, so we're going to, I believe we're just going to roll this out. Shut up. Let me pull up the fucking recipe. Okay, everyone, everyone chill for like a minute. I know I've never made this before, so I'm using a recipe. You low key watch shrimp is always a good time. Speaking of shrimp, did you guys watch Smiling Friends yet on HBO? Well, it's on Adult Swim, but it's on HBO Max right now. Incredible show. Watch it. If you don't watch it, you're, I don't like you. You're not a good person. Like, you could, you could totally get hit by a car and I wouldn't care. I'm kidding. In Minecraft. Listen, you can't shoot, you can't shoot a stepdad. That's wrong. That's very rude. It's very rude. Okay, divide. Okay, cover. Okay, divide pasta dough into fourths. Roll portion into one sixteenth thickness. How do I know what that is? Work it quickly. Place rounded teaspoons filling. Fuck. All right. Let's go. What do you guys want to name this dough? I like, I don't know, Cassandra. I think Cassandra is a good name for this. Let's roll out this dough. I don't have a pasta roller because I'm not Italian. I can cook and read sometimes. She's, my grandmother is not Italian. That's not how, <laughs> that's not how, that's not how, <laughs> that's not how that works. Not even at the least bit. Shit. She did ask me, she's like, you're doing your cooking show today? And I'm like, yeah, Grandma. She's like, okay. Okay, so we gotta roll. Jesus. I should've, whoa, should've cut this in fucking half. This is moving too much. Look at this. This is a big ravioli, baby. All right, let's cut it. We'll cut it and roll it that way. No, she's Polish. Well, she was adopted, so we're not entirely sure. She was part of that bus full of orphans that I saved, weirdly enough. Um, there we go. There we go. An Italian member in the family? If Lord Octavius has sex, you must have sex too, right? I think that's part of the contract. I think that's part of the Nephew Network contract, right? I feel like this isn't rolling as much as we need to. 
I think we should have an Italian member in the family. No lies. I'm just, I don't think I could just like, what am I supposed to do? Call up Tony Soprano and be like, Gabagool, you're part of my family now? I mean, I'd rather do that to Vin Diesel because at least he knows how to say family. I don't have sex. That's gross. That's true. Sex is gross. I would agree with that entirely. That's why you just, you should just watch it. You don't have to, you don't have to participate. You just gotta, you just watch. Don't believe me, just watch as Bruno Mars says, I think it's Bruno Mars. Happy 420, let's go. Praise it, blaze it, and haze it. God, I still can't get over you. You look like you make your own IPAs, son of a bitch. And the roller, why? It's not sticking. I don't want to hear cooking advice from you, Foxy. You can't even spell boy RD right. Please, no, it's fucking funny. <laughs> no, it's fucking, oh, uh, it's so good. Now I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have to do an IPA. I'm going to make an Uncle Joe IPA. I know, <laughs> I know, right? For once. For once, she has good advice. All right, fine. Fine. All right, fine. You guys, you guys want, you guys want flour? I'll give you guys flour. Jesus. Jeez, dude. There. Rubbing this down all day, baby. At least I have a bit of Italian inside of me, too. <laughs> I did, too, in college, if you know what I mean. What's your point? What's your point? Looks like you had several thousand dollar oscillating vintage speaker in your basement that you played your organs through. Oh no. And I'm only listening to fucking pet sounds. Ugh. <laughs> Cause I'm just trying to get the right fucking tone. Okay. Anyone get a little talent if they really wanted to? That's right, Waka. Let's go. Okay. This may not turn out as good as I wanted it to, but that's okay. Who gives, who gives a shit? As uh, Dr. Steve Brule would say. Fucking an oscillating, ugh. Oh, I, know, I know someone who has one of those. That's the worst fucking part. And it's expensive. Today, I, yeah. Because, you know, obviously you can't see right now, but I had to move things out of the way because Daft Punk is playing at my house. My house. <laughs> Little Italian here sounding off. Do you have a square dough cutter? I sure do, bud. Look at this. Look at this. I bought a whole kit off. I gave Amazon money. Look, I gave Amazon money. And they gave me... I think this is what Uncle Joe uses to expand his butthole. But this is, it's, it's good, it's sharp, a little heart one. I think he's got the heart one. And I got those little spinny thing. Look at these beauties. They also have like a mold, which in retrospect, I maybe should have gotten the mold. But who knows? Captain, have, have, has you and your family ever made raviolis? Because you're, you're probably the most Italian, you're probably the most Italian boy that I know. We're just rolling the dice. Not that I know of. This is not... Let me lock this down. I'm worried it's going to topple over, and then everyone's going to be sad. And then, you know, I'm going to... All my drinking money goes to the thing. Come on. Ah. There we go, there we go. Lock one. I should have locked these fucking so long ago. Locked. Okay. Whew. That's true. We did that IRL stream that one time, and Captain just showed up with just a bag full of warm spaghetti. Very particular. Once.
I brought it once. All the time. I like all the time. That's the only thing everyone remembers you for is that you brought warm spaghetti in a bag. Like, ch like Charlie Kelly from It's Always Sunny. This isn't looking good. These are going to be very, these are going to be very different raviolis. I'll tell you that much. I made way too much filling for this. This looks like a fucked up hamburger helper. Try this again. Anyone got any advice besides get good? Because I don't. It was a Tupperware container. I seem to remember it differently. These are going to be very different raviolis. Come on, Mayor. Just solve the puzzle the already. The puzzle I'm trying to solve is why is my life like this? Every day. Like, I feel like I have to cut it again. I don't know. Let's just try to try to pizzify this. Oh, yeah, he had the fancy, he had the fancy one. See, this is why I thought I wouldn't need the pasta roller for the KitchenAid, but I am incorrect. Thinner, I'm trying. I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be thin and thin as sin, baby. Just keep rolling. As Limp Biscuit would say, my way or the highway. I'm trying to thin it out. I'm trying to thin it out. You guys make this and let me know how it turns out for you. Add the elbow grease to it. You gotta really like, really push down, push it to the limit, baby. Try harder? I can't! Always push it. Push it to the limit. Don't challenge me? I will. Quicksand, you wanna do do you wanna do a, a, a cook-off sometime? That'd be something you're interested in. The technique is all raw. Oh my god! Well then you come over here and you do it! You know that would be a good idea for the Scooby Show? You should be allowed to redeem a call to ask for help. No, because it's just gonna put me on... It's gonna put me on Minecraft on a live suicide watch. Center out, center out. My peep sure would hell yeah. We can talk about that. I'm into that. Center out. Center out. Center out. This is, okay, you need a pasta roll. This isn't 14. Listen, this is, I'm doing pre, I'm doing pre-World War II raviolis. Everyone's favorite, Darvoid. How you doing, buddy? Darvoid, I made some chicken parm yesterday that would knock your dick in the dirt. That shit was so good. I'm not starting over. Middle out. That's what I'm doing. Ugh. I didn't think I needed a pasta roller. I watched a couple videos about it. That's very specific. Life is specific. Jesus. Whew. Come on. Stop. It's not looking sad. I'm looking sad. Permission to be brutally honest? Hell yeah, do it. Fucking... I got my finger on the band trigger right now. You better watch it. These are going to turn out not good. I'm going to make some... Better just make some pizza pockets at this point. Oh, the dough is too dry? Anyone else want to be brutally honest? I didn't, I didn't get to work out today. I was, I was 
ripping out carpet stuff. Oh, it's too dry. Can I save it or no? Is it not savable? Spit on it a little bit? I've heard that before. How would I save this? Does it need to go to the tomb? Come here, you piece of shit. It looks like the world's most fucked up fish. Buried temporarily? Ugh. You're killing me, Smalls. What if we do... What if we do... What if these are like... What if these are like rustic raviolis? <laughs> like you go into the city, you see the hot new restaurant, and guess what? They're making rustic raviolis. Deep fry them. I wanna, I wanna boil some and then. Can I get some ravioli with my thick toe? God damn it. God damn it. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying to make good dough. Got to work it out a lot more. My arms are going to get tired like I flew in from a different state, like a bad stand-up routine from the 1983s, like a Jerry Seinfeld before. That was Jerry Seinfeld before he started dating 19-year-olds. See? Darvoid's got it. It's a new invention. Thick raviolis. Don't be roughing on those doughs. They need to be cared for and smothered by the rolls you're using. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> None of that made any sense, Foxy. I'm not gonna lie. You said you said two different aspects there. Let's see the let's see it. Hold on one second. Let me, I'm embarrassed. Hydro yeah, you know, I just have one of those in my basement. I put my balls in. You know me. It's like that one YouTube channel that crushes everything. I need a tortilla press. It's not bad. They're just going to be smaller raviolis. What are you going to do? We're dealing with it. Life is, time is a flat circle. Okay? The monsters. They're gonna be thicker than usual, that's true. I'm okay with that. You know. I'm down with the thickness. And I don't know why. I'd like to see you try this. You let me know how it goes. I need water. <coughs> Should have got the pasta roller. That's right. Streamer's doing it wrong. Woo! Excuse me, are y'all with the cult? Oh hell yeah. Thank you for gifting a sub. Daddy M, stop by to say hello before I knock out. Alright, cool. Hey, great meeting you yesterday, man. Thank you for those music recommendations. Thank you for that gift sub. Hell yeah, baby.
Thank you so much for gifting that sub. And I'd like to personally welcome you to the non-cult community, new member. All you need to do is give me your credit card, your social security number, your birth date, and what your first dog's name was. And we'll be all set to go. Thank you, thank you. I know. I said I wanted to make it rustic. All right, I have an idea. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. Get that nap, baby. Okay. I think I need, I think I need egg wash too. Yeah, he is. He gave me a bunch of really good music recommendations yesterday on stream. Which I highly, I always, always like new music, especially when it's like hip hop. All right. Um. Do I need egg wash for this? Do I need, because basically what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the little things on, put the thing over, and then cut it. I don't think I need egg wash, right? No, I'm going to boil them. I did, I did. I started listening to them. I started listening to, um, it's not today. So, okay. No egg wash for a boil, I'll take. Cut it first? Got this next reaction on my arms from something that looks like some sort of rash. Oof. I gotta cut it first? Okay. I didn't know. I'll cut it. Jeez. Jeez, dude. It's not funny. This is not a funny, this is not a funny program. Hold on. Divide pasta dough. Place rounded teaspoons of filling apart. It says cut into squares after. Okay. That's comedy, baby. That's comedy, baby. Fine. In the instructions, it doesn't, it says cut after. That's awesome. Hope you're fucking with this music. If I wake when you're alive, sounds good, buddy. Get yourself some sleeps. Get yourself some medication. I hope you feel better. Rashes are no joke. Oh, yeah, I got the one thing. I got this thing. I'm an idiot. That's kind of cringe. Shut up. Shut up. I'm doing just... You don't know how hard this I worked. Okay. Cut first. Ask questions later. I started, yeah, I started dry aging, uh, some pasta. 
are not I don't care. They're a labor it's called a labor of love, Foxy. Okay. Okay. I said it's gonna be rustic. It's gonna be rustic. Okay. I wanted to add. But you know, I'm just some asshole on the internet. That's hey, that's what I am. But we're all we're all pretty. That's what matters. We're all beautiful assholes. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your stream. That sounds good. Get your nap on, baby. You got some ricotta. Ricotta for your mama. Does your guys' moms like ricotta? I hope they do. They better. If your mom doesn't like ricotta, you got to fight her. In Minecraft. Uh, okay. Put a bit of the fit. That's what I just did. I don't understand what you're, what you're saying. Okay, so I put it over like this. And then I cut it again, right? I think so, right? Uh-oh. Oh! I remember now. Sorry. This is my first time. That's even too thick for... Shut. It's fine. Yeah. You put it over, and then you stamp it, right? Oh, this is going to be a terrible day. Okay. That we're doing. I've decided. Oh, that's a thick boy. That's a thick boy. Oh no, I am not Italian enough for this. That's not bad, look at that. I don't know where I got the recipe from. I got it. Yeah, there. One's an Olive Garden recipe. They're rustic. They're rustic. Mm. Christopher Columbus's mom. Yes. The classic Christopher Columbus raviolis. He was Italian, right? Bro, please. Come on. Uh. These are huge raviolis. What love? There's no there's no love here. You guys have shown me love doesn't exist on the internet. I'll tell you that much. 
getting harassed. Oh, Gabagool. My blood. Think of the Italian. I hate the Italians. If there's one thing you're going to learn about Mayor Wurtz is that he hates the Italians. <sighs> he just, he hung out in America. Ugh. Well, then you guys, you guys let me know when you make ravioli and how they turn out. Without, without, without the cutter. These are like, look at these, these are thick boys. Elden time? Hell yeah. Get some Elden ring in. This one's going to be the monster. This is hard. Why did I agree to do this? I'm an idiot. That one's a little popped. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I save this one? In Age of Empires 3. There, we're just going to wrap it. We're going to wrap it and crimp it again. Wrap it. This one's too thick, I think. That's why. Okay. We got... Look at these. These are huge. Look at these thick ravioles. Shut up. Shut up, quicksand. Shut up. <laughs> Just shut up, please. <laughs> uh... Uh, I told Hillary last night in Target that you were a rapper and she started laughing. Wow. Wow, Hillary. That's not very nice at all. That's not very nice at all. I made too much filling. Do I just not have cheddar cheese anymore? All right, we'll use, we'll use this. I'm excited. You said, if you're a rapper, I'm Seinfeld. Hell yeah. Chef Words Boy RD, baby. Ronnie, is she coming? Is she coming to the to the the show in July then? So I can wrap her face off? Tater, how you doing, buddy? Um I got I have a sliced cheese. Calm down. You're fine. You're being dramatic. <laughs> You're being dramatic for dramatic sake. <laughs> Sliced cheese. She might, she hates crowds. That's understandable. Using sliced cheese? It's plastic cheese. I love, what's wrong with this cheese? That's, what do you, do you guys normally put shredded cheese on cheeseburgers? No, no, you don't. I didn't think so. <laughs> I 
I'm not even Italian, but I'm giving you the chin stroke. Hell yeah. Good old craft singles, baby. I did not finish Jack Reacher. I will, I will soon. It's not bad. It's very like, it's definitely a show that I don't have to pay attention to. All these extra scraps. Please don't do this one. This one, this, this is my friend. Look at my friend. Yeah, oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's bad news. I have to try to, I can't save this one. Okay. We're going to do half and half. I made too much filling. I made way too much filling for this. And that's okay. I'll cook the I'll cook the zombie ravioli in another in a different pot. So we're not we're not completely screwed cuz it's going to pop. That thing's going to pop, baby. made way too much Ugh. well you live and learn yeah no we started watching jack reacher and then we started watching peacekeeper we, we're kind of going back and forth on those why porcelain thank you for that follow i love your name It's beautiful. Oh, that's funny. Take a little bit out of here. I'm worried. Okay. Woo! We're gonna do a little bit of cheese. I'm here for the chaos. That's right. You're here for you're here for the pain. Listen, like we all we all have our flaws. Okay, we all have our flaws. Mine just happens to be I'm too good looking for this, so. This is going terribly. Okay. Um, what you say? We'll do we'll do these these three first. Cuz I want these to be somewhat good. Okay. Oh. Oh. The technique is evolved, right? Hey, this is my first time. I don't like I don't like to do things that I do all the time. That's no fun. Where's the danger? Where's the where's the suspense? If I just make everything I know all the time, that's no fun. There's no risk, there's no reward. It's like if I just like made cereal every day. It's like cool. Mayor Wurtz made cereal again. No faults and fables, foibles. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
Oh, okay. These are the potato ones. Am I supposed to like crack a... Am I supposed to like pop a hole in those or something? Hmm. Woo. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Woo. Okay. Mm. Okay. But isn't that what the stamp does with the crimping? Or am I incorrect in that? I'm just fucking stop. I'm taking your advice, quick say, please. I'm asking as a person. Okay. I don't know what to do all this extra dough. I don't think I'm going to be able to roll this out successfully. I think, I think we're kind of, I think the, uh, I think the, uh, I think the dryness of the dough is not going to allow me to make any more than this. Play with dough. Okay. I will try. Whew. While, while we're doing that, let me get, make a big one. No. Make it a big one. I need a, a pot to boil these. Uh, do I have another one that's like this? No. Forgot that I need like a new pot. But that's, We'll just, we'll just use this, so. Whew. Chicken catch a Tory? Hell yeah. More like chicken catch these hands. If you know what I mean. There we go. I want to get the I want to get the pasta roller for this next. I feel like I need to redeem myself here, but we're not done yet. Ooh, sauce from scratcheroni. All right, that's going. Ooh. Hey, I've never made them myself, so. All right, wet hands. You know what they say about wet hands, baby. A wet, a wet life. It's gonna be a monster. So that does who, who's boss. Hi, hello. There's a cat. No, don't run. Mm. Ugh. 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 These were water. You're good. Now it's all slippery. Ugh. 
Cause the hand, the hands get all nice and deep. Almost there. Don't stop, baby. Ugh. 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 I'm almost there. <laughs> oh my god. Looking good. Tiny bit more water. Okay. Whoa. Slippery dough. Ugh. So slippery now. Jeez. Okay, this feels better, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna get any better at that point. I agree. Uh, do I need to put more flour down or no? Do I need, do I need more flour? Well, you don't want it to dry out. White porcelain. Steph, hello. It cracked. I need I need to get a new roller, okay? No, I didn't put it. I always hand wash it. It's just old. It cracked. It's fine. Maybe too much flour. I think this is too much flour, but here. I didn't put it in the dishwasher. I'm not that dumb. I'm pretty dumb. Don't get me wrong. Let's cut this in half. Does anyone have any recommendations? I made it a ball. What are you talking about? You savage. I'm not a savage. Just trying my best. Woo. Huh. It was ball shape. I know. I wanted to see if I could do it without the, without the pasta roller. And I think we've determined that that is a lie. Considering what I'm up against, I think that's I think that's valid, don't you think? We're not gonna get a lot out of this. We're gonna try. Ugh. Huh. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm gonna start sweating. Driving it over between two sheets of stainless. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get much better than this, folks. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna try to get four more. Mm. 
Oh. Oh. Okay. We're gonna make these a little smaller. I'm gonna try smaller ones this time. I'm chopped, they make this look so easy. Ugh. Oh, okay. Another spoon? I'm losing everything today. Oh. Do two more. We'll do two mushroom. And then two potatoes. I think that's fair. Oh. Whew. Okay. And now I need that for the potatoes anyway, so. Get out of there. Ah! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Ugh. Yep, bigger ones will always cook longer. You are correct. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. There's a lot of. A lot of pressure, a lot of work, a lot of twerk. Okay. Oh. That's true. I could boil them in my sweat at this point. This one also didn't turn out super good. I just not. Dough is not right. This dough is just not, ugh. Too bad out of the rest of them, we can deal with it. Okay, uh, let's wash our hands because we gotta, we're gonna start boiling. I gotta work on a sauce too. Oh, this place is a mess, okay. We're in the final, final battle now. Let's get, that's starting to boil. Oh, okay. I think we're only gonna have enough time for the ravioli today. We're still gonna cook this through. Alright. Okay. Mushroom potato cheeseburger. What uh How long am I? Oh, 
Oh, one to two minutes, huh? Okay. Where is... Sorry, I'm looking for this recipe for the sauce. Water. Okay, I don't... Okay. Butter, flour, garlic. No, I have a, uh, it's like a sun, sun dried tomato one. Although I don't, I don't know where the sun dried tomatoes are. One second. Okay. Uh, one in two minutes if he rolled them out. Gotcha. So this is going to be much longer then. That's fine. That's okay. Whew. Okay. Where are the sun dried tomatoes? in here they don't need to be refrigerated right oh my god here they are found you for a test around the time Ooh, you guys like sun-dried tomatoes i like sun-dried tomatoes okay Butter, flour, okay. You like them? I like them. I think they're good. I don't know what a chunky tomato is, Foxy. I have no idea what that is. Um, or I feel like I need more cooking equipment. Chunky tomatoes, why I called every time I wear a red shirt. Bacon, how you doing, buddy? Okay, so we're gonna move that up a little bit, a little closer. Okay. It says so heavy cream, salt, milk. Cream. Okay. Ugh. Let me freaking Google what? Google what? The handle? All right, fine. I'll put it. I'll put it back here. It's a habit. I have a bad habit of that. I I turned it. I turned it. I'm sorry. Okay, so. Okay. Put this down. Making somewhat of a roux, I guess. Way too hot. Okay, 
cream milk sun-dried tomatoes. Cream milk sun-dried tomatoes. Cup of heavy cream. Right. Uh, crushed tomatoes in a can are usually not chunky. Dice ones are always chunky. That was a really bad type. There are some canned tomatoes the label says chunky, and I hate chunky tomatoes. Sure. <laughs> I'm just going to have to believe you on that one. Chinky? Got that. We need... Cup of that. You want what? A cup of half cup of milk. And we need some of these. Gonna chop these up. God, I'm so out of room right now. That goes in, that goes in. Add some salt. Then let's drop. Let's mix it. Okay, that's going. Let's put a couple of, let's put a couple of the, uh, let's put three in. One. How do you know when they're done? They float? They're just heavy, thick boys. Heavy, thick boys. Heavy, thick boys. Let's start. Oh my god, and I need this Gouda cheese. Shit. Shit, I knew I missed something. Hold on. Unfortunately, the grocery store only had free sliced. So. We're just gonna we're just gonna deal we're just gonna deal with that, okay? Just gonna deal with that. Sometimes you make you make what you can. Okay? Sometimes you just gotta do it. Okay. Not perfect, but hey, what is at this point? Let that go. I think I think that will be good. Just gotta think positive. I agree. Thank you, Darvoid. I got at least I got someone on my team right now. Everyone else just wants to call me a jabroni in a cooking hat. I'm here to tell you I am not. What tool? 
This is, well, this is supposed to be, this KitchenAid, this is supposed to be technically just for, uh, to scrape the sides of a KitchenAid bowl, but I ran out of other wooden spoons, so we're just gonna have to use this. I know you are, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I don't know where I put that top. There we go. Yeah, it's used to clean the bowl. Once again, I normally just would use like a wooden, a wooden spoon or something. But uh, after yesterday and today, there's a lot of. Uh, I've been, I've been putting the dishwasher, been putting the dishwasher through its paces. Let's put it that way. Down here for now. I use a regular silicone spatula. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's got their tools. As long as it's not, what, metal, I think we're fine. But we're just trying to get this, we're trying to get this sauce going. I'm trying to put stuff away while we're waiting here. One's kind of moving. Milk's got to go. For the sauce. Okay. Look at that. Not coming out as red as I want it to. Too high. It's too high. Put that on a low. Stop burning. Stop burning. Oh, I'm gonna have a field day having to clean this up today. Oh boy. Okay. Ugh. Add some tomato paste. Do I have any extra tomato paste? I don't think so. I guess I need more. I, need some, I gotta add some more sun dried tomatoes. I mean, that's supposed to. I think that's supposed to add to the. That's why they're in there. It's supposed to be a little more red. Now taste it. All right, hold on. It's like a buttery. It's like a buttery, creamy sauce, so. Toss a couple more in here, who cares? Why not? Oh, really? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Didn't really say that, it just said add it. Well, po buddy, po buddy's nerfed, as they say. Po buddy's nerfed. Oh, hello, Dutch oven. Oh, I should have cooked in you today. That probably would have been smart. Really? 
I don't think I've ever used sun-dried tomatoes like in a in a pasta sauce, so I'm worried these aren't done. <laughs> I'm so worried. They've been in there for what, about six minutes? What do you think? What do you guys think? Oh shit, these are done too. Need, need something to bring it out, so. Yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? Keep it longer due to thick doughs, but check that the doughs need by touching it. Okay. I don't know. I don't know too much about pasta dough, guys. So I'm pretty much I am a novice when it comes to something such as that. So please, if I screw up, please, Italian soprano gods, please forgive. Woo. Okay. Oh, another minute, maybe? Or rolled out chunk of dough. Done. Did you guys hear that noise? That was someone drag racing down my street. Sometimes living in the city is not as cool as it seems. Apparently. <sighs> taste, oh uh, yeah, taste it? Okay. It's pretty good. I mean, it's just, it's butter and cream. Need salt. What is... Why are you talking backwards now? Don't do this. Don't do this to me, Darvoid. Alright, I think I'm going to try to grab these raviolis. They're going to be for Ashley anyways, so... She gets, she gets first taste. She gets first dibs. You know what I mean? Bump, bump, bump. Uh, I don't know. You tell me. Let's get these on a plate. These got to be done. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Shit. Shit. They exploded. They exploded. Well, that's not good. Let's put another batch in. They feel done, though. Is 
Sauce to burn at the bottom of the pan. I'm sorry, I didn't read it. I'm busy. I'm doing like 20,000 things right now. It's not burning, it's just low. We're gonna put a little bit of the sauce on it. That should cover it. Listen, after uh, how long I've known you, this is the first time you've ever given me cooking advice. So. Okay, let me try this again. We're gonna, we're gonna try this again. Give Ashley a knife and a fork. Then time yourself. 531 right now. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, well, I just told, a I just showed Ashley. I just showed Ashley, and she looked at it and laughed. She's gonna try it and let me know how it goes. <laughs> Look, this is not my finest moment, folks. That's okay. That's okay. We're just gonna deal. Just gonna deal. I think I think it'll taste fine. It just looks bad. If that makes sense. First time, not terrible. Not good, but not, but not terrible. Oh, okay. I think she'll dig it. Toss this because it's not probably good either. Uh, bad cooking day, but that's okay. I know, I know. I appreciate the kind words, but. I think, okay, I think another problem that we didn't, that we didn't consider with this is that they're sinking the bottom. I'm like trying to keep them from sticking to the bottom here. Okay. Ashley's ones are on this side. Show us the pasta, okay. Come on, come on, dude. Okay, I'm just getting tongs. I'm just getting get tongs. Oh wait, wrong one. It doesn't look done. It doesn't look done. But it's moving. I know, I'm trying here. Jesus Christ.
Once again, I don't think it's gonna taste bad. I just don't think it's as good as we wanted as we wanted it to be, folks. I think that's valid. Then cook it in the sauce. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't have it. I definitely don't have enough room to do that. That's for certain. Yeah, that dough looks done, but it just looks sloppy. Look at this. That's a just dough piece that I tossed in. Just sloppy. I don't know. I try to research why my typo is backwards. It's possible that I pressed a weird key. I mean, I'm not surprised. It does happen. If you press the Windows key in a direction, sometimes your monitor flips. That's like a classic like high school move right there. All right, we will we'll try we'll try one of these in a moment. Because Mayor's, Mayor's got to eat too, so. Okay. Need to wipe this down. Is it edible? Flavor's good. All right, folks. You heard it here fo first. Ashley said the flavors are good. The dough is too thick. We already knew that was a problem. How is the sauce? Ashley said the sauce is phenomenal. So, I don't want to hear shit. Two out of three ain't bad. I got more coming up right now for you, so. Making fresh pasta is hard until it isn't. I, to I know you did. I know you did, Darvoid. Darvoid believes in me. None of, none of you other monsters ever believe in me. We're going we're gonna to the, pull those raviolis in just a moment, folks. Two out of three ain't bad, folks. I think that's I think that's valid. That's very valid. Raviolis. Quinn, how are you doing? What is the dough? Yes. It's just thick. It's too thick. I need I know I know I need the pasta roller, okay? I get it. I understand. Pull this. Quinn, how are you doing? How's your Saturday going? I gotta clean how I... I gotta do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna be here all... All night just cleaning. I hate cleaning. I hate... I hate cleaning and I hate weeding. Those are my two boogaboos. So the, how many more raviolis would you like? If you want to give me your plate, and I will uh, add some sauces to it. And we'll cut open mine. Ugh. Two. It's a very, it's also a very doughy smell, if that makes sense, folks. Very doughy. Sauce on here. Hey. I mean, it doesn't look super appealing, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. But I know it tastes pretty good. It was alright, I tried Twisted Tea, it sucks, but I feel like that's an official stepdad drink. No, we, we, drink, we drink Coors Light over here. Well, Labatt. Labatt when we're feeling frisky, baby. Not to be dramatic, but I need you to plate those now. Jesus. Kate, you guys are asking too much of me. This is my, this is my, per, this is my ravioli. It's sad, but it's my, it's mine. That's right. The plating is mad, but what are you going to do, folks? We're all, we're all monsters at the end of the day, huh? We're all monsters. I'm going to try. Okay. My first, once again, I cannot stress enough that I am not, that I am not Italian. I would never want to be Italian. Make that very clear. Make that very certain here. 
That ravioli boy makes me sad. Oh my god. It looks sad. All right, let me get let me get a taste of this real quick. And we can go. They sound amazing. Oh, there's there's something. Make sure you're following Control Alt Quinn and Irish Kate. Irish Kate is back. Back, baby. Two lovely individuals of this of their they're, they're, they're the favorite of stepdad Ron's, for sure. All right, let's, let's try this. You're too good. I can't help it. I can't help it. Let's try. This is a, uh, this is a mushroom one? Yeah, this is a mushroom and ricotta with some cream sauce. Sure. Okay, the dough is too thick. It is so thick. It's thicker than a snicker, as they say on the internet. It tastes good. Too thick. Dough is too thick, folks. That's okay. We lived and we learned today that mayor words that mayor words requires a dough KitchenAid appliance. That's that is for sure. It's real chewy. Once again, tastes great. The filling's good. The, the the filling the filling is good. This is a um cremini mushroom and ricotta. It's good. It tastes good. It's just thick. And I can't do anything about that unless I get the pasta roller, so. What are you gonna do? Oh my god. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one. I promise I'm gonna get one. All right, folks. I need to eat and I got I got some stuff that I gotta handle, some personal stuff I gotta handle this evening. So I need to call it right now. So folks, thank you so much for joining me today on this wonderful cooking adventure. I'll be back tomorrow with something. I don't exactly know what yet. So we're gonna raid Doug Knight. Okay, thank you guys all. Have a lovely evening. Be safe out there. Don't make ravioli without the rolling attachment. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, folks. Bye for now. Oh, geez. Vaberdan, hello.